Hi, I'm Kimberly Allison from Starliner Music. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to continue with my series entitled Rhythm Exercises. These studies deal with blues guitar rhythmic phrasing. First, I'm going to go ahead and play Rhythm Exercise in the key of A, number five, and then I'll break it down for you. Here we go. I hope you enjoy it. All right, let's break down rhythm exercise in the key of A, number five. This is a 12 bar blues that we've divided into six two bar phrases. Each two bar phrase uses the exact same rhythm. The rhythm is triple it, two and, triple it, four and, one and, two and, three and, four and. During the first bar of our two bar pattern, we'll be playing a lead guitar solo. This solo will extend into the first eighth note of bar two. At that point, we'll come in with our rhythm guitar pattern, which is generally known as the Chuck Berry or Jimmy Reed pattern. The pattern normally sounds like this. Again though, we've extended our lead guitar into the rhythm guitar portion, and we now have to chop off that first eighth note. So the pattern will sound like this. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and now let's look at the scales we'll be using in this exercise. The first scale is the A blues scale. This is the same as the minor pentatonic with the addition of the blue note. The fingering looks like this at the fifth fret. We will also be using the A major pentatonic. The fingering looks like this at the fifth fret. Here we go, on with phrase one. Our first triplet is major pentatonic. Our next two eighth notes are both the minor and the major third. Our next triplet is the blues scale. Our last two eighth notes, we have quarter bends, and then we end on the root A. And then we go into our A accompaniment pattern. On to the next phrase. Here's phrase two. Triple it two and triple it four and one and two and three and four and the first triplet is a mix of both pentatonic scales. Then we have the two eighth notes. Those are major pentatonic. That triplet is mixed pentatonic. Those two eighth notes are major pentatonic. And then we're ending our lead guitar phrase on the flatted seven of the A7 chord. So there's our chord tone ending the phrase. Then into the rhythm guitar pattern. And two, and three, and four. In phrase three, we've moved on to the D seventh chord. Triple it two, and triple it four, and one, and two, and three. 
first triplet is major pentatonic. This next two eighth notes is a mix of both pentatonics since I'm bending into minor pentatonic from the major pentatonic. Then this next triplet is mixed pentatonic. Last two eighth notes are major pentatonic. And then I'm ending on the root of our chord D into the accompaniment pattern. Here's phrase four. At this point, we're back on A seventh. We have double stops here in the first triplet out of the major pentatonic. It's actually right out of our A triad. Then we have major pentatonic on the next two notes. The next triplet's a mix of major and minor. Next two eighth notes are major pentatonic, and then we end on the root A. Phrase five is over the E seventh chord. Triple it two and triple it four and one and two and three and four and. The first part is in minor pentatonic. Here's the triplet. You have the bend there. And then still minor pentatonic, using the blue note there, right down the scale, and then landing on the root of our chord, which is E, and then to the comping pattern. Here's the last phrase. The first triplet is a mix of both pentatonics. This is major pentatonic. That's the blues scale. Last two eighth notes are minor pentatonic, ending on the root A. Well, that's it for Rhythm Exercise in the Key of A, number five. I'm Kimberly Allison from Starliner Music, and I hope to see you back on my channel soon.